Yep. Where's Dad? Uh, he had to go out earlier. He wasn't in his room last night. What's Victoria doing? Playing. I thought I'd ask you both to look after her. We are. Well, you're not doing a very good job of it. Mom. What? Daddy's coming back, isn't he? Get your coats on. Where are we going? Just get your coats on. You are naughty. You're going to make me very late. I thought we decided you weren't going to do this anymore. I know. May as well talk to myself. What the heck are you doing? Oh, you haven't brought me, have you? I don't think so. Come on. Look, I couldn't do it. I'm just trying to help tidy up, that's all. Are you going to be late for work? No, I said I'm off to the dentist. Look. Mum's not coming out today, you know. They're just going to make a decision as to whether or not she can come home. Yeah, I know. Well, you don't have to be there. No. Oh, come on! Look, your mum's had it rough this past few weeks. Yeah, but surely they can see she's better off with us. What if we're both going? I'm driving. Well, I'm a good driver. I can see you out where you're handling that thing. He sits on there. Come on now, Joseph. You said you'd help Mummy. We're really late. You're going to put your hand in there? Yes. Stand up. Come on. <laughs> Sarah! Where is he? Who? Who? My ex-husband. What? All those lies telling me it's over, and the first chance you get, he's back in your bed. You lost the plot. Oh, really? Get out. Not until I've seen him. Jack! Mom, I haven't spoken to Jack in weeks. He's here. All right, then. Search the house. He told me that... Oh, you suddenly decided to believe what he says, then, have you? Get out of my sight. I'm sorry. Do I really look as if I care? You're pathetic. You blame me for splitting up your family. Blame me for treating everyone so badly, but look at what you're doing. You just leave them out of it. Isn't that what you should have done, rather than bringing them round here to see your big scene? Come on. I appreciate you letting me keep here last night. Don't worry, we'll knock it off the rent. We've got a good enough deal as it is. Yeah, we know. So what are you going to do, send Sarah some flowers? Nah, if I sent her old flamey flowers, she'd still not forgive me. When a girl's angry at me, right, I don't see her for weeks. That way, she realises what she was missing, forgets why she was mad. That works, does it? Every time. Well, I don't want to criticise Romeo, but I think Jack needs something a bit subtle, I think. Flowers it is, then. <laughs> what your paper? Some more with our letterbox. Uh, I wondered if I could have a word, Biff. Yeah? <clears throat> it's, uh, it's kind of delicate. I'm listening. It's Kelly. She got herself mixed up in something. She'll manage. It's gone too far for that. Vic, just give it to me straight. She's moved into home farm. Well, she wants to be careful. I had a tie-in cottage, lost it when I lost my job. No, oh, it's nothing to do with tie-in. It's more tie than not. Eh? Chris Tate moved her in. You mean there's his... Look, do you think you could have a quiet word? Vic, I can't. Come on, Biff. What else can I do? Leave him to it. No way. It's my daughter. I want to kill him. Vic, don't get me involved in this. All right. Well, thanks a bundle. What's going on, Butch? I found these in Paddy's car. Do you reckon they're Paddy's? Well, they're better flipping not be. I don't care how many exams he's got. He's not qualified for all this. Right, so who's are they, then? Well, they're not man. She couldn't fit one of hers in this. Exactly. So Paddy's doing the dirty, isn't he? <laughs> Hello. What's going on? Come here and I'll show you. <laughs> Uncle Zach! Leave him, Mandy! He deserves a good pasting, and as your family, we ought to be the ones that give it in. I can't 
Help! Snoring, I'm sorry! It's not you snoring, it's the bra in your car. Philanthropist! Where'd you get it? I found that in the back of his car. I'm sorry, Mandy. We've tried to protect you from all this. It's not mine. Liar! Mandy, tell him. It's mine! Huh? Look, I know you love him, but don't lie for him, lass. That'd fit you like an half patch pitch of football. It's me new business. Eh? Huh? I'm selling lingerie. Are you, Mandy? Can I have a look at the catalogue? Oh. Who's minding the shop? I'm closed. Can't think straight. You better try. We've got a business to run. Well, you run it then. What's in the bag? A few of Kelly's things. I don't believe it. You're packing her stuff. Well, let's rent her room out while we're about it, shall we? Well, there's only a few things she might need. I I'm just trying to help. Well, don't bother. She's my daughter. I'll sort her out. And she's made her choice, Vic. She chose to get pregnant, did she? And with her boss? That's not what I meant. She's making the best of a bad situation. Maybe there's worse than Chris Tate. He raped her! It takes two to tango and she's not exactly innocent. He's nearly my age! And getting steamed up won't help. And nor will a pair of brick knickers! Vic! Calm down! She don't need clothes! Where are you going? To do what I should have done all along. She needs her dad to look after her. She's finally come to accept her actions and is very remorseful about them. Now, this is crucial in a case such as Janice. But what happens if she falls back into a depression or whatever you call it, you know? We'll have to take each day as it comes. But you reckon uh, coming home's going to help, though, yeah? That'd be my recommendation today. And what happens if it's too early? Are you a doctor, do you? We'll monitor Jan very closely, Mr Glover. You won't be on your own. Ned. Oh, Ned, love. You're looking very smart. Well, I you know, thought I'd make an effort. <laughs> Glad you're here. Come here. But if we don't take it in that form, we'll miss the boat, surely. Get your hand off my little girl. Uh, I'll call you back. Dad! I ought to break your arm. Hey, you calm down, for God's sake. This isn't going to do anybody any good. You were lucky yesterday. I should have strangled you then. Get the police. Leave him alone, Dad! <laughs> look, Kelly, look what he's done to you. Get away from him. <laughs> Careful. Oh, hi, Sam. Sam? What? Just wondering how your reading lessons are going. My dad's going to teach me, so don't waste your time worrying about it. Hi, Sam. I'm sorry, Cathy, love. I could only get a pint. Oh, Betty, that's not going to be enough. Well, the post office was closed. I brought this from home. Well, why's the post office closed? Well, I don't know, do I? But I'll be in right bother if this pint isn't replaced. Cos Seth can't go to sleep without his hot milk and whiskey. What are you doing? Practicing my rollerblading technique. Practice in your own time. Well, I'm a bit rusty. I hate to fall flat on my jacksie. Isn't that right, Eric? What? Rollerblading tomorrow. You'll need the practice. Hey, I said I'd drive. Nothing more. Oh, blimey. If it's first running frost, you I could skate on that. Go on. Back in the kitchen. Please try to be nice. I always try to be nice. You don't know what he's like. Yeah, I don't know what you're like. So long as he doesn't start. Well, if he does, just let it go. I'm supposed to let him insult me. Well, he's old. He's just had a heart attack. I know. I'll be as civil as he is. What's going on? Where's my father? Here. My little girl serving me drinks. That's just it, Dad. I'm not your little girl anymore. Yeah, you'll always be my little baby. Donna's your baby. I'm Kelly, your eldest, and I'm pregnant. I know. Why do you think I'm here? To stick your nose in my business? No. I want to protect you. From what? Big bad monster Chris Tate? Come on, Dad, sit down. I chased him 
I kissed him and I took him to bed. Look, I don't want to hear about this. I want him. He's twice your age. And twice as loving as most blokes. With half the body. Dad. Has to be said. Well, do you think I haven't noticed? Oh. I don't think you really understand what that means. I know more about Chris's disability than you ever will. Come on, love. No. I still see him, you know, but give yourself a bit of time, space, and we can work out what's best to do for you. Chris is what's best for me. Do you love him? I'll never want for anything. It's not what I asked. Come on, love. <sighs> This is my life and my decision. If you can't support me, then get out of my life. Don't mean that. It's up to you, Dad. Look, uh... I'm sorry. No hard feelings? Yeah, right. I'll be fine. Look, I'm not going to waste my breath telling you what you already know, but you are one hair on her head. Dad! Yeah, all right. Shut it, Viv. The smell of money's gone to your head. I'm sorry about that. The doctor found it would be best to remove your father's bed. Either give me the controls or I'll set fire to your no. wig. Get no. the old... No. no. You have to understand, the coronary care unit's full of fragile patients. You don't have to explain it to me. Grandad, I see you're looking better. Here, count yourself lucky I'm in a good mood. Best not be grapes. Pips get stuck in my teeth. No, the plums. Hope they might get stuck in your throat. Mum. Well, thank you. What do you come for? Didn't take two of you. Dad, give over, eh? I thought I was nervous. And are you? Of course. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, too right. Look, the bounty let you go on. On your fault, you did what you did. You were ill. I kidnapped somebody's baby, Roy. That's not nothing. You took your grandkid for a walk. Oh, come on. As good as Dad. Look, it's not that I'm not on your mum's side because I am, but. I know what I did was wrong. And as long as that's what you believe, you'll be fine in there. But come on, we're ready for you. Good luck, Mum. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, knock him dead. What? You cover his eyes. Right. I'll go and run and hide. When I said ready, let him go and see if he can find me. Go on, then. Whoa, there. Sorry, Jack. Where are you running from? Spot. Hi, hey, son. What are you up to? No, we're just playing. Robert? Why'd you come back? What? I live here. When you and Mum split up, why did you come back if you don't love her? Who told you I didn't? You still love Rachel. What? That's why Mum took us there, to look for you. Where have you been? What the hell have you been saying to Robert? Well? Yes. Yes what? <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> when? Well, there's some paperwork to be sorted out, but a couple of days. Oh, that's brilliant. So you two better start cleaning up, because I know it'll be like a bomb site. You'll still be under review. Oh, so she's not totally OK, then? It's routine. Look, I'm coming home! <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> yeah, I'm chuffed, love. I really am. 
That's where you said you were going when you left. Yeah, so you steamed over to Rachel's and gave her an ear bashing. But what was I supposed to think? That it was an argument, and people say things they don't mean. Where did you stay? Marlon City. You're going to have to learn to trust me again, Sarah. I don't know if I can. Well, if we can't put it behind us, there's no hope. Look, it's not just about being a husband. I want to be a friend, too. And a lover. I want it, too. Really. I, I just find it... I'll try harder. So will I. Kids will be wanting their tea. That's trying harder, is it? Oh, they're sour. Well, they tasted all right to me. <sighs> you know, that bloke over there, his throat up that much, you take him for seasick. Dad! What? Do you have to be mean to everybody? I wanted to them as deserve it. Give us a moment, love. Why? I need to talk to your granddad. Let me take these. Right, what's on your mind? Not seeing each other over the years. The world's apart now. Aye, and that's too near. We don't like each other much. I reckon you're right. Fine by me. Good. Nurses keep asking me where you're going to go. But don't ask me. They think I should take you home with me. I'm not as trade dog. No, you're a cantankerous old beggar, and I don't have room. I wouldn't put up under your roof if it were the last place on earth. It won't work out, you staying with me. I know. So that's what I've told them. I'm going home. That's where I belong. Dad, you've got no home. You've been evicted. Sister, she's trying to get you into a nursing home. You look after you and yours, and I'll look after me. I'm going home. Shame we don't have time to decorate, really, innit? You are. I'm just thinking, my mum coming back. Ah, the complaint do wonders, isn't it? Yeah, just let me finish my tea and I'll get cracking on it. I know we haven't got time, I was just saying, like... If no, we... no, you're right. I mean, I've got 40 quid burning all in my pocket. I was going to pay some bills, but I might as well decorate her. Eh? Forget I mentioned it. She's been locked up all this time. I mean, white walls are really going to make her feel at home, aren't they? Well, at least I'm making an effort. What, and I'm not like? No, not as far as I can see. I'm full of effort, me. I'm breaking under the strain of it. Looks like it, I know. And what's that supposed to mean? It means that, as far as I can see, you don't want her home. You're right. I don't think I do. Stop. Stock. It stock ings. Stockings. Lovely word that Sam, isn't it? Short. Now put it all lined together. Fishnet stockings. Poetry. Better lessons than that stuck up Cathy Glover gives you, eh? Better pictures anyway, Sam, eh? Cathy smells better. Maybe you could start trying to wear some of Lisa's perfume, Dad, if you're serious about teaching him as well as Kathy. Hi, <laughs> and wear some of these fishing nets. <laughs> Read! <laughs> Look at them. Like kids with a new train set. Mm, dreaming about a new train set anyway. What's up with you, love? You've been quiet all day. I'm sick of it. All I want is a bit of encouragement. I thought you'd get plenty of encouragement in that dress. No, I meant about my new job. I know I can make it work, Lisa. And all they're bothered about is ogling over barely-dressed women. Haven't you learned anything? Is women do the work and men ogle. It's the way of the world. I'm dead proud of you anyway. And they will be too when you make your first million. You reckon? I do. Right, come on, then. In the meantime, let me buy you a drink. Same. I've been through the itinerary for the young offenders. <laughs> and does it run like clockwork? Not far from it. What a surprise. You have to allow for the unknown factor. Absolutely. 
The unknown factor has been known to ruin the best laid plans. Unknowingly. The unknown factor here is Rachel. She was late. Supposed to help me go through the schedule. Well, I'm sure she had a good reason. I'm not sure she's got the right attitude. Rachel? I've always known her to be very responsible and hardworking. She lacks commitment. She's only a volunteer, Tony. I shall have a group of unsettled teenagers in my care. They have many social problems and need to be presented with authority figures who command respect. Not single mums who can't tell the time. Uh, do you want to hold him down and I'll hit him? If I thought it would do any good, I would. What did I say? Oh, really? So much for cheering you up. Hey? I thought by treating you, you might at least smile. I'll smile when you get your wallet out. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe Kelly can treat us. Now she's in the money. And so she came round, all guns blazing. In front of Joseph? Yeah. And Victoria and Robert and Andy. Mm. She must have been really upset. Oh, thanks, Cathy. Take her side. Well, you know, you're not exactly blameless in all this. Well, maybe not, but I tried to stay out of her way. At least she could do the same for me. I take it Jack didn't come round last night, then? What do you reckon to this? What is it? Just a few ideas I've been toying with. Marlon's Midnight Madness. Yes. Yeah. Stay up until four, right? Get the nightclub trade. We're miles from anywhere. The nearest disco is the traffic lights at Hardin Interchange. But, what about this one? Get a piano in, right? Have a good old-fashioned knees up. Who'd play? Seth and, um, Heather Hutchinson could sing. Isn't that Lynn's mother? Yeah. Your girlfriend's mother? She's talented. I'm sorry, Marlon. Look, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'd be much happier if you stick to what I pay you for. Fine, fine. Could make your fortune, but you're not interested. Don't matter. Hey, hey, Vic. Tell the amount to a winner, will you? How's that, then? Try to come up with a theme night. Kelly could bring Chris. What's it got to do with you? Biff told us. Moved in, haven't she? Get stuff. Mind you, probably onto a good thing, really. He takes her for a spin round the estate, she makes millions. How's about I spin you round the estate, eh? Vic! It's none of your business! None of you. Kelly's a grown woman. She can see whoever she wants. Including Chris Flaming Tate! I'm off out. Ah, uh, whatever. I can't even better look at you. Oh, then don't. Look, once in a back to do your washing and cookie some tea, much of a reason, you know. She's my mother for crying out loud. Yeah, and she's my wife. Yeah, well, you should know better then, shouldn't you? I'll tell you what I do know. I know I've had one hell of a year. I didn't think I'd get over burying our Dave. Then after the same thing for Linda. I'll tell you, Roy, I've had it up to here. I really have. Yeah, well, we all have. Then there's your mum, nicking babies and going nuts. Where's it all gonna end? She's better now, isn't she? Yeah, but for how long? Cos I can't go through all that again. I still get people talking about me when I'm walking down the street. Well, tell them I got a well, then. I can't. <sighs> Why not? Because I agree with them. I think Osville could be the best place for her. Mm. 